Welcome everyone to uh, Rocky Hammer Speedway, and here are the points after the Daytona 500, Zachary Fitzwater, you're going to be your points leader with Jonathan Reigns, Alex Gray, James Bowles, Karen Detmar, Malik Nevins, uh, Eli Bright, Gray Ace Vito, Samuel Morris, Anthony Stewart, at your top 10 of the points, there's a rest of the uh, other five down, or other ten down there, but below that, go on all the way down to the 20th place right now on the top, on this list, or on this view of the list, with uh, John, Jeff Bright in the 20th place of the points. But, let's go dead last in the points, and you got Marin in the 32. Um, so, yeah. But don't worry, there's still more racing this season to get those guys back up in the points, so we're going to be here at Rockingham Motor Speedway. For the, for the Subway 400, for the Mountain Dew Baja Blast Cup Series, we're going to go ahead and get to the track and see how qualifying shapes up. Waiting for the stuff to load up. Alright, qualifying underway. Drivers, Drivers to your car. Andrew Borosak is in the uh, 47 to be on the pole with Daniel Moore second, Philip Goldberg third, Logan Brown fourth, Jonathan Reigns fifth, six is the Jeff, 14 is Jeff Bright, uh, Jonathan Huff will be starting seventh, e uh, Gibson in the 51 will be starting eighth, ninth is Gary Wells, and rounding up your top ten is William Brock. If you want to see where your points leader is, uh, Zachary Fitzwater Sr., he'll be starting in 19th. He tied multiple times with a couple people, but you know what? Let's get to let's get to the race. Fifty nine laps here at the Rocky Cam. Drivers so to get your to car. Drivers to see how to take care of their tire wear and their fuel strategy. So after Daytona, they're definitely gonna have to be careful as the engine definitely have to get to fire it up. The thirty two of them uh he had a wild work last week. He did say, well, when he got out the piercing, he did like hurt his leg, but he says his toe is feeling better and he's ready to go racing it. And yeah, pace car going to come in. And the second race of the season is underway for the Mountain Dew Baja Blast Cup Series. Green flag in the hands of the star over racing at Rockingham. is in the 47 is going to be leading the first lap with a decent lead over so like four parts in the level. So here comes Jonathan Reigns looking in third. So he's going to get started at all. He's going to pass already by the 27 and the 40. If you look in the flag, you see them just trying to stay in line. There's going to be a lot of pack racing this season. Say the more is going to be next to 27. He will probably lead this match. And it looks like William Brock did not get a good start. He was in the top ten when he started the race, and now he's all the way in the back. What happened? He must have been second. I don't know. Brandon Fisher down in the four of Eli Bright. Back there for uh, the field. Here comes the Thomas uh, passing the 51 with uh, Gibson. Zachary Fetzer are the points leader and you're getting to the Hollywood champion. Coming towards the field. The last time by Clark is going to be Stokes Falls. So that's going to pass me. Uh, that 24 for uh, Miller Nevins first. There's Tommy Tang, the rookie. Coming to the uh, ninth position of Jeff Bright. So the field, but the rest of the still dominating his race. Detmer, Luke, and the high 
side. Trying to get down his out spray. Had a chance to win it. And I'm surprised he got the high line to work. He got a couple, uh, he rolled a few laps and passed out of the ball. That set for Chips Water at the 500, so he'll probably have a good day, good season so far. Going to try to find a good position right now. As they're all single foul now, and it's still out. Yeah. 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 Currently in the lead. Baron Sackler, let me see the first man in this guy. Audra Baron Sackler, excuse me, I'm butchering the name, but uh, Andre is doing pretty good. Um, he had a great break in 2500, but uh, the driver will probably bounce all back from it. He's got one of the best in the series for the floor, but he's got a high run. Here comes 27 and Jonathan Hope and leave Jonathan Rain for the third position. These two also have been the point standing. Ten laps of uh, if you do not complete. Oh, we got a wreck! The 88 and the William Brock involved. This is no caution. What happened to William Brock? Let's go back and take a look. Three wide back here, and Detmer was looking four wide. Oh, the seven went down on the 88. I don't know why this wasn't a caution. And oh, a hard hit, hard eight for the 88 of Jordan Fisher. He went on the side there. Both drivers got able to play one the watch stage. He got dumped there. They're probably going to miss a mark between him and the 88 and Jordan Fisher. He's in the Caution to go after that one. Uh, we're trying to run off the top half of this play. They turn around to the right and then Tommy Kane and Jonathan Green. Smart back there. So the ball broke under attack right now by the uh, 27 of our Jonathan Huff. It's possible to be over for second and at least so good. In the back with Detmer, Smith, and uh, not Smith, uh, Detmer, um, Logan Brown, Anthony Stewart, and I'm going back in back position right now. It's like Colin Driver's gonna be uh, in trouble here. And there's a trouble. Pretty much still dead even. Still staying in the same spot where they're at they're on the track. As we see Samuel Morris making it up to the top five. As we see him, he had, he had a good start. There's Gary Wells in fifth. So then we talk about here in Monaco, 41. And there goes the 42 page sweet gonna go underneath and leave an Evans here for 13. So, if I this position, I guess that I'm going to go right and see what I'm going to do. I'm going trying to rebound from a few terrible seasons, trying to get good down in the control. I'm going to go right and I'm going to go right and see what I'm going to do. That is a monitor machine. And there's a rookie Nathan Stapleton. Also guys, I did get eye racing for uh, Christmas, so if you all may do some videos of that when my G27 comes in, let me know. I will be, I'll definitely just leave a comment, I'm going to do some videos on eye racing. We're going to like Saturday and I'll see you But yeah, we got eye racing. 
There's Jonathan Huff making more moves. Markel drove this card last season, had a great, great dominant run in the first ever. Won two races in a row in the first ever. And uh, we'll see if uh, John and Huff can make a good deal with that kind of seat. And so we'll see if John and Huff can make a good deal with that kind of seat. And so we'll see if John and Huff can make a good deal with that kind of seat. And so we'll see if John and Huff can make a good deal with that kind of seat. And so we'll see if John and Huff can make a good deal with that kind of seat. Yeah, we're in the back of the field now. It's like Logan Brown trying to get the same position. It's so bad. There's been some clean ranking so far. Now, another thing we all need wondering is when will pit stops occur for these guys? I'll try to chase down Baron Nascos in here. The subway for him to do a lot of things. Felt Goldberg also in third, just waiting for these two to either make a mistake or just be a fan, or they're just standing, just trying to get the tires. See, that time on the subway, it's only 24 seconds, 24 tenths. There's a lot of, 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 Let's see. Come to the line now. Let's see if he's left it. Baranoskis just lost a little bit. Huff lost a little bit of Baranoskis. I think he has a really good game right there. get around the 88 and Jordan Fisher. Can we do it now on this turn? No, Jordan Fisher trying to keep the lead, trying to stay on the lead lap, but these guys can get. This might be helping the 27 to 11. Finally, it's like 80, we'll get it. Let's see. Here comes the 27, the Baranoskis. Oh, I keep saying that, it's tough. out the way for the second to close guard. I think the caution's out. Caution is out. We almost come out. We almost come out. We almost come out. We almost come out. 
this helps the leaders. We are going to also get involved Isaiah Monica, maybe Logan Brown. Pit stops are just getting underway as the caution came out. Oh, it did. Oh, let's go ahead and hit the slow motion on helicopter camera. Looks like the 35 might have. Ooh, 35 was stuck on the rear bumper of the 20. Not 27, the 19. And hit him into the wall. 19 had to save it, and but the 21 clipped him, went around, and that's where we got the caution. Caution lap. Caution now on lap 32. Pit stops are gonna be it happening. Looks like it's There's that third one for Anastasia. And uh, there's no one for him. Looks like these two, these guys right here, Gary Wells pitted, I believe. So is the uh, 25 of Ace Vito. And Luke Nevins as well. Let's check it out. Oh no, those are just black cars. It's like first out would be Baron Nostis, followed by 27 Jolly. Not time to tang out the good uh, good stuff. So is Zachary Fitzwater. Or no, Sammy Moore is just uh, must have been. Like a line through the Let's see if this stuff's sort of out. So, I mean, so starting first, it looks like the Baron Moskis, followed by 27 John and Puff, and then Tommy King. Sammy Morris, Zachary Fitzwater, the fifth, six would be the 41 here from Monaco, Eli Blair would be starting seventh, three starting seventh, Mark would be Phil Gilder, and Mark would be Stapleson, and John Lowe, and John Guys, right here, Wells, Isvito, Luke Nevins, and set for 32, and then the SMP Detmer. Those guys are probably going to be in the way of the leaders since they are at uh, the end of the long This is one card they come going to get to the field. So, pace for lights are off. That's pace for a good diving pick off for restart. Does Jonathan Huff have anything for the 47 of Andrew Baranowski who's been dominating this race so far? Let's find out as the pace car is in. Green flag back in the hands of the starter. We are restarting here at the left. Let's see what the 27 does. We're not going to get around that. We're going to get around that. We're going to get around that. We're going to get back with the leader. Let's see. Seven can make a move. It could be happening here as this has to probably be a turn. in the 47, Scotty Lane to get past him, and he went on the high side, and some of his left cars, that's probably not a smart move. And here comes Tommy Tang for second, that's, if you want the leader to be like that, it's probably not smart, Tommy Tang. But, then, then like but here comes Samuel Morris and Zachary Fitzwater. Going on his left cars. Now, has a fast 
Chevy today. Oh, the 15th punches the 27. We're gonna go ahead and take this card. Oh, there you go. Really turned the 27 now. Who touched? Yeah, we're trying to get him into these last cards, but he's hitting. That's the question. He's stuck on the same team. This might give help for the 27 to catch up to him. Let's see, back to the line. And we just can't wait. The 27 has a lot of time in the bottom. Which way is going to pull the uh, tenths. Let's see what happens. And I think we got a caution. Caution's back out, and it looks like it's evolving to 23. This helps a lot for the 27. Let's go back and take a look what happened to Andy Thomas. And ooh, Peyton Sweet and Grace DeVita was involved. Let's go ahead and get into the slow mo cam. The three coming three wide back on the line, and ooh, 42 gets to the 23, turns him around, and then the 25 was just an innocent bystander. Hard hit for the 25. Let's have a look at that. Let's have a look at live, live uh, shot here. It's right on board with the 23 uh, Toyota. Oh, it's just Stay clear. Mm -hmm. On the cross for this third, second time today. Andrew Baranas is your leader. It's like they're going to go ahead and take these guys to the third time there. I think I'm going to go. They will be restarting. At least probably nine laps to go. So, Payne Sweet, William Brock, and Andy Thomas retire from the race. And we have a few cars on the lap down. Payne's car goes back in. Will the, will the 27 of Jonathan Huff have a chance to chase down this 47 for the win? Or Andrew Baranasa just run away with the win? Green flag in the hands of the and the 47 had a great restart. Look at this, Tommy Kane. For second, fifth order gave a good push to Samuel Morris, but it looks like the 27 job and help did not get a good boost card. Baron Osgood has clean air. Can any of these guys stop this 47 Andrew of Andrew Baron Osgood come to the the so the 27 is gaining on him. Yeah, that 27, Jonathan Hub is gaining a lot on that, on that 47 that Andrew Baranowski. Let's see what happens. Here comes the 27. He's got a lot of speed coming out of the corners. Look 
Look at that. He's gained 18 tenths on the 47. Will the 27 get around him on the final few laps of the race? Two of these guys looking for the first rear win. As don't look now, but in fourth place, your 500 winner Zachary Fitzwater Sr. He was looking for two in a row. But look at this, Bear, look at this, Bear Nostos doesn't have a lot of space to get away from these guys because the 27 is right on his back bumper. Four laps to go here at Rockingham. 47 slipped up a little bit up the track. Here comes the 27. Back to the line. See how much he's doing. 12 tenths on him right now. Let's see. Let's see if the 25 can make the move in the corner. As he is looking. Two more laps. To, three more. Oh my. Three to go. And looks like 27 is right there. He needs just to make the move. If he needs to do it, he needs to do it now. Next time by will be the white flag. Will the 27 drop and huff steal one from the Baron Oscars? Let's see what happens. He's right on his back bumper. White flag going to come out at the line. Look at the 27. He's looking. White flag. Who's going to take the win here at Rocky Hill? Will it be Andrew Baron Vasquez? Or will it be, a, or will it be Jonathan Huff? He needs to make a last lap pass here. Come in turns three and four. Does the 27 have enough? It looks like he doesn't have enough. Coming at it, turn number four. First career victory for Andrew Bernoskis. He wins the Subway 400 here at Rockingham. Not the most exciting race, but you saw the 27 with getting on that 47, but the 47 had just the better Dominic Carr than they. Congratulations to Andrew Bernoskis for his first career Maha Blast Cup Series win at Rockingham. And, uh, wow, what are, let's just give credit to Jonathan Huff. He had a chance to take out, not take out, but... Take a uh, take the win away from the 20, uh, from the 47, but you know, just the 47 and Dominic Carr, great, uh, great comeback for the 27 job enough. But the real winner today is Andrew Baranowski. Let's take a look at the official standings of today in Subway 400. Andrew Baranowski takes the win. Second will be Jonathan Huff. Third, Samuel Morris. Fourth, Zachary Fitzwater. Tommy Tang, good run for him. He finished fifth. And also Eli Bright, who started in the back today, he'll finish sixth. 11th, Philip Goldberg, or, or not 11th, 7th, uh, Philip Goldberg, and 8th, Eric Monaco, who had a good comeback victory, or a good comeback to today, he'll be finishing 8th, Jeff Bright, 9th, who's been having some uh, some electrical issues with this car, he got that sorted out and made it to the top 10, and rounding up your 10th spot is Raymond Fisher, who started dead, nearly to the dead end of the field. And so we had James Bowles there at 12th, Nathan Staples in 11th, some other good guys down here. Folks, today was a good race today at the uh, Rocky Motor Speedway. I hope you all had a good day and a good uh, time watching this video. And there's your victory. And next week we go to Vegas. Here's the standings after Rockingham. Thank you guys, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side later.